there's a bird outside of the house that keeps running into the window it's a cardinal um no, I don't think that matters. I literally don't know anything about birds and don't care to know. But it's a red, like, cardinal, and it keeps running into the window. And it's been doing it downstairs, the window by my boyfriend's room, and up here, the window by, like, the living room. That's your mom's birdhouse? Huh? Is that your mom's birdhouse? Yeah, that's my mom's birdhouse. How did she get food in it? Nick? <gasps> I mean, look, uh, we want to Good morning. Actually, it's about to be noon. Um, it's July 11th. We were supposed to go home today, but if you've been traveling, you already know the vibe. So, probably not going home till tomorrow, which is fine. Um, I need to submit some sub plans for summer school because I did not prepare to be gone this long. Hopefully, we get home so I can make it in time for class on Tuesday because summer school is pay you get paid for what you work. So there's not like, a, it's not like regular school um, where you have a set amount of money and then you can have this many days off. No, no, no. You get paid for whatever you work. So I would prefer not to miss any more work days, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be back in time for um, school in the morning because I'm still in Texas and it's noon. So you're gonna have to do the math. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to make the most out of today. I do need to do the sub plans. I'm also going to sit down later in this video and do like a little life update Q&A. Right now I have people asking me questions on Instagram, so I'm going to let that accumulate a little bit more. Um, and then I am working on a digital product, so I want to get a little bit further on that. And then I think that's it for right now. My hair is not dry. I just got out of the shower. Um, but honey, she's giving length. She's giving length when she's wet. So can you imagine when she's straight? Hmm. Actually, let's see. Where can I set you where you can maybe see like my length? I know you guys are probably like, that's not even long. But like, listen, I will try to insert a picture. But my hair used to be so short. Even actually like two years ago. Yeah, like two years ago. I'll insert like pictures of my curls two years ago and they're so like small, they're short. Um, I've been taking a lot of really like major steps for my hair to grow. But also, last thing before I go, look at my chin. I know you can see this. You see, you can see from the side. Yeah, it's swollen and it's rock hard. Um, I got a mosquito bite <laughs> and I'm allergic to mosquitoes. So yeah. What is that? What is that? Oh. Um, this is like really painful. And I think you can kind of see mm, if it will focus. The mosquito bite is like right here. But yeah. I mean, you can't tell that much from like a far away because I have a butt chin. So like my chin is already a little big, but. <laughs> No babes. I'm trying not to touch it. I need some better girl. Save. Alright, hi guys. I am back at home now in Wisconsin. I feel like at least once every vlog where I'm at home. Oh, oh, oh. I'm at the gas station. I rarely ever drive my car. When I do, I drive it until I have no gas and then I make my boyfriend drive. So I just got gas and I also grabbed oops, a water because I didn't want to carry my hydro drug and I grabbed some nerds because I really want some sugar right now um, but I'm actually about to head to a doctor's appointment um, I think I mentioned in my last vlog the sinusitis and stuff so I think right now I'm gonna go do a consultation for a sinus surgery um, I think it's less of a consultation and more of like, when are you trying to do this? Because we've been talking about the surgery forever. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I have all my little reusable bags here. We're on our phone because I cannot be bothered to carry my camera around either, especially at the grocery store. So I wanna make sure I hopped on here and updated you so you knew what the vibes were. But we need to go because my appointment is in 25 minutes and it's in Kenosha. Look at this. My face is breaking off. It's getting stressed. Good morning. 
am at work right now. Um, there's one week left of summer school. <sighs> next week, next Thursday. It's Tuesday right now. Baby, I'm counting down the days because I'm tired of waking up, like, at this point. I don't know what it is. Like, obviously, I was in a classroom setting for two years. I had an 8 a.m. Most of college. Like, at this point, I should be used to waking up early. But I'm just so tired. Like, it's not getting any easier. Um, I'm going to end this vlog off. But I wanted to do a quick little Q&A and give you an update about what's going on with me. Because I know that... Um, a lot of people think they know what's up. So I figured I would answer some questions that you guys left for me on Instagram. And um, this will kind of all just go together. So I have a question about one, two, two questions about Dallas. So in my last two vlogs, you saw that we were in Dallas. We were doing some apartment hunting just to kind of get the vibe of what things were like. Um, we did plan on moving to Dallas, but it is not looking like that is going to be what the move is. Um, but it turns out that we might just be staying local again. We've been talking about moving to Dallas for like two years. This was probably the closest that we ever came to it because we genuinely were like there looking at things. So it doesn't look like Dallas is going to be the move for us right now which is totally fine um another basically like those questions about dallas kind of go with a couple other questions that i've got which i feel like i've kind of like answered that answered it indirectly but i how do i say this it is my plan to return to the classroom this year um i if you're new here i left my teaching job in january which was the middle of the year um, because i was just in a terrible toxic work environment and my mental health was really struggling i was feeling like i didn't want to teach anymore i wasn't happy um but after taking my break by june i knew like i missed being in the classroom and this is something that i didn't ever really consider i was very hung up on the fact like how i was feeling in the moment but I know like I belong in the classroom. I did sub a little bit, not too much because I hate subbing. Like I love teaching, but I just hate subbing because it's not your own and the kids don't really owe you any sort of loyalty or respect. And I feel like that's one of my favorite parts of my job of being a teacher is the community and like the relationships that I build with my students. And so not having that as a sub, I just hated it. I hated it. Um, and then obviously I'm doing summer school. so. In the beginning of summer school, it was so nostalgic for me, you guys, like planning lessons and dusting off my teacher brain. So, I don't know. I am applying for jobs. I don't have a position yet, and I'm okay with that. Um, the past two years, as I've been looking for jobs, I feel like I've been very like, what am I going to do? Like, I need to work. I need to find it. But it's, I just don't feel that right now. I don't feel that sense of urgency because... So many people have left this career. I highly doubt that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to find a position. But also, I'm saying like, because I started looking so late, I didn't start looking until midsummer. If I don't find a position, I'm okay with continuing to sub because that still provides me flexibility. Um, so this is more of just like me coming out, being direct, and saying I'm gonna return to the classroom. So. I was good to say that i'm excited to be back i don't know what i'm going to be teaching if i'm going to be teaching i have had some interviews um locally i i don't know i'm just being optimistic i know that i want to do a lot of things very differently um so if you came for the teaching content you stayed for the live content i'm excited to announce that as it happens you'll be getting some more teaching content all right, so I have another question. What made you want to teach? Um, I feel like I have the same story as literally every other teacher. When I was younger, I loved helping my teacher. I didn't want to go outside for recess. Even though as a teacher, I still don't want to go outside for recess. I just had such a passion for teaching and for learning. I always knew like I was meant to be a teacher. I was meant to be um, spreading knowledge and um, getting people excited about learning because I grew up in a community where 
people weren't excited about learning. Um, and it means it meant a lot to me my first year to be teaching in the community that I grew up in because it was kind of like a full circle moment for me. Like I grew up in the same circumstances as a lot of my students and it was something that I believe bonded us. So I said, I'm a lifelong learner and I am girlies. I am, and this is not a new decision. I've actually known this since the beginning of the year. I'm trying to think, February, since February. Um, I'll be going back to school. I got my master's of education in 2020 during my first year of teaching. Um, I'm certified in English as a second language. That's what my master's is in. Um, but I'm actually going on to pursue my master's of business design and innovation because I would like to take the master's in business, combine it with the master's of education, and one day open up some sort of educational consulting agency. Um, that's my long-term goal, short-term right now. I'm in the classroom. I've always pretty much known since I started teaching for real that I was not gonna be in the classroom forever um, because it's really just a lot and I'm sure if you're a teacher, if you know a teacher, you already know the vibes. Um, but I really was sold and committed to the idea of educational consulting after the last school that I worked at and I realized that a lot of teachers need to be taught how to be culturally responsive. And I know that culturally responsive is such an umbrella term that so many people use. Just because you're integrating diversity in your classroom does not make you culturally dis blah, blah, blah. Just because you're integrating diversity in your classroom does not make you culturally responsive love. I'm sorry to say. You have to do the work. And I feel like a lot of teachers don't do the work or will find a reason why it's not important enough to do the work. And the only people that you're hurting in the end are your students. And so I feel like one day I would love to host some professional developments and come into schools that could use the extra support. And I just feel like that is where my journey is taking me. So I'm going to continue to be in the classroom for a couple more years, not only because I still have gas in my tank, but because I do want to continue to build my experience. But this year I'll also be adding on some of the business aspect of it and I'm really excited to share my journey with that because this is something that is totally new, totally foreign to me. Um, I don't think I've ever done anything that I wasn't at least a little comfortable with. <laughs> so this is going to be an interesting journey. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then the last question, are you happy with the things that you've accomplished so far or do you expect more out of yourself? If you would have asked me this question in January when I left, I would say that I'm not happy with the things that I've accomplished. I really felt like a failure. I felt like I was giving up on myself. I just really like wasn't in a good headspace. And taking that break was exactly what I needed to kind of reset and see like, I'm that girl. I've done so much in just like my short 25 years of living that like, everybody can't say you know and i'm really trying to focus more now going into this next like season of my life and my birthday's coming up burko gang um this this next year really just making sure that i continue to gas myself and continue to remind myself who i am because i've made it further than many thought i would so that's my little update like i said i'm at work right now so i gotta get ready for the summer school vibes the days are not interesting enough for me to vlog i'm sorry to say if you want to see some summer school type content um be sure to follow me on tiktok and instagram because i did do a couple reels and tiktoks over there you can find that information in my description box below i also finally have an amazon storefront so definitely be sure to check that out um and i think that's pretty much it Merch is out for the Been There Felt Out podcast. An episode, not yet, babes. But merch is definitely out. So be sure to check that out as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.